I have a down, and I'm going to be pre- it's a pretty bold down if I do say so myself, uh, David, uh, because I'm going to say that Pierre Polyev is down as the, the federal conservative leader, even though, you know, potentially he could win a by-election in a few hours here in, in, in the Toronto area. And he, remember, as you said earlier in the show, he didn't go to Mississauga Lakeshore throughout the, 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 uh, the, the writ period. So uh, the prime minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, managed to show up. Uh, to, to rally with Charles Souza, but Ron Chenzer, the, the Tory candidate, didn't get that support from his leader. So even if Mr. Chenzer somehow wins wins tonight, which I doubt, it won't be because of Pierre Polyev's coattails, because Mr. Polyev is is invisible in the GTA. I mean, he goes into some do some does some select media things. I know he was in Atlantic Canada and actually did an interview today with a, me, a mainstream media outlet, which is very rare for him. He did that scrum last week uh, in Ottawa, an impromptu one, but he's still, uh, I think. They must be starting to question their their uh, media strategy, David, because it doesn't seem to be working. He's known here in the GTA as that guy with the convoy, the convoy supporter, and the cryptocurrency guy. I mean, it's, you need to he needs to get a second gear and 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 start to appeal to the broad swath of people. That's a riding they could. And they're going to say, oh, it's a liberal riding. We can't win there. Well, I grew up in that riding until I was 13 years old, and it was always progressive conservative when I was a kid. Uh, and it is progressive conservative to this day, provincially. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rudy Cassetti uh, just won in June, Doug Ford. But Doug Ford is popular in that riding. So I don't know what the Tories are talking about, federal Tories talking about saying, oh, there's a Ford factor, and, and we're hearing things at the door that are bad for us. I, I, I think they're looking for excuses. You know, Rick, uh, I, I've, I've traveled in federal elections with the prime minister, and he went to Calgary. I, I've been there with him, you know, even if you're going to win it or not. I mean, what, what do you make of the fact that Pierre Polyev didn't, didn't go to Mississauga Lakeshore, or at least didn't announce he went there? I don't know if he went there quietly. Um, but well, he, you know, well he pro- he, yeah, he probably didn't want to stake too much political capital on a, on a possible loss tonight so i mean that's the obvious thing I, when i'm when i'm hearing these comments about a down for pierre polyev i think about the reaction of people in alberta many people in alberta to to even hear the possibility of a down because they've staked so much so much emotional equity in in the new conservative leader that he is you know has messiah like qualities that are going to be uh, made apparent sooner rather than later and you know tonight perhaps but uh so you know uh the fact that he didn't show up people will say well he didn't show up uh, you know it was a liberal seat there'll be all kinds of excuses and explanations necessary but it does scare people because the out here because for a lot of people out here they actually believe very firmly that trudeau is done pierre is the new prime minister and it's just a matter of time and it's sort of a fait accompli and Right. You know, obviously that's not the case in politics ever, but uh, that's where we're at there. Okay, I, I got about 60 seconds. Uh, Emily, w- what's your take on this? I mean, he went instead, uh, at least in the last couple of days, to Atlantic Canada. Or rural Atlantic Canada is a real potential growth area for the Conservatives. What do you make of him skipping mm-hmm. out on Mississauga Lakeshore? Uh, I think uh, it shows, uh, as everyone else was already saying, that he didn't want to stake uh, his capital uh, on 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 this on this specific by-election. However, the fact that he's not daring to do it is in itself very telling because we need to remember the conditions in which you know Erin O'Toole was was initially showed uh, the door as a leader of of the of the federal Conservative Party. The the, the narrative was very much. Uh, you promised us that by that, you know, maybe in, uh, going a little bit more towards the center uh, during a campaign, you could get Ontario, and you haven't gone, you haven't gotten Ontario. Um, so, so for Pierre Poliev to not even try, in a way, to get a seat in the GTA, uh, I think there's some still a lot of insecurity probably inside the Conservative Party in terms of whether or not Pierre can actually get Ontario, and that's what I, I think uh, they'll be reflecting it on at least the numbers by which they win or lose. A certain, right. most probably lose and trying to trying to have that as a way to then assess and and maybe change a pivot as we were saying earlier their strategy okay. as well for central canada i, I gotta leave it there because we're running up to the end of the show thank you so much rick bell emily nicola and rob benzie appreciate it gang talk to you again next week thank you, thank you.